name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the white dudes for Kamala Harris campaign that kicked off after the black women for Kamala, the white women for Kamala. Yeah. Now we have the white dudes for Kamala. <laughs> I've never in my life, 40 years of living, that I think I would see this day right, right now. Where you could just have white guys openly congregating, especially on the left, and nobody calls this racist. Mm. Listen. A white guy congregating with other white guys, specifically white only, that's like slaves congregating in the building. That's like, what are y'all doing? Y'all trying to escape? Go back to the quarters right now. Who do y'all think you all are congregating like this, trying to have a plan for each other? So, yeah, I never thought in my life I would see this, but here we are. Now, I don't think this kind of thing would fly if it was anything other than uh, a Democratic mm. political campaign yep. situation. Yep. Mm. Anything else? No. It, it, it would be, it, it would be a prop. Yeah. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Why? If Crazy it's anything man. other than uh, a Democratic political campaign situation. Anything else? No. It's just not going to work out. Nope. Okay, even if it was like a country music festival and there's too many white guys, you might have the police get called like, hey, they about, they up to something. Something's going on. No good. Okay? But hey. No right good. Now, I guess that whole thing has been no good. And when they get Kamala Harris in office. Now, we got a lot. We got Kamala. There's something. Something's going on. Okay, but hey. Right now, I guess that whole thing has been suspended because they want to get Kamala Harris in office. Now, we got a lot. We got some friends to get to, but here is a campaign, I guess you would say flyer for this event. See the hats, man. And they're selling those hats. Yes, they are white dudes for Harris. Now, Ooh. if you wear that hat in public, I must, I, I think that they put some in your brain. They didn't do <laughs> something to you. You've been compromised in some kind of way. Okay, your mail card, forget white, your mail card needs to be immediately revoked. Okay? <laughs> You need to go down the Bruce gender route, but different story. <laughs> See what this flyer says. Let's do our part to help elect Kamala Harris. And that was on Monday, this past Monday. They are. A virtual bugging. meeting. I think they raised like bugging. two million dollars. All right. So it says we are honest, All open, and ready to support. Remote. Okay. You need to go down the Bruce gender route, but different story. See what this flyer says. Let's do our part to help elect Kamala Harris. And that was on Monday, this past Monday. A virtual meeting. I think they raised like two or three million dollars. All right. So it says, we are honest, open, and ready to support our first black woman president. If that's you, RSVP and bring your friends, family, and neighbors. All right. Now, here's an article from NPR. This is a real headline. You see I'm right here. Pardon me, say NPR. This is uh, New York Times. Uh, I, this, this is a real thing. It says, liberal white dudes rally for Harris. It's like a rainbow of beige. Real headline. So, hey, a huge video call for self professed white dudes for Harris showed the breadth of the Democratic support for a candidacy and the ways the party is learning to make fun of itself. They are okay? so that's what's happening right there. White dudes for Kamala. Pathetic. Now, we've got quite a few white dudes the for Kamala. The Caucasian chicks for Harris. Equally pathetic. Equally pathetic. Equally pathetic. We woke soft. Learning to make fun of itself. Okay, so that's what's happening right there. White dudes for Kamala, and that's fine. Now, we got quite a few white dudes who's woken up. First, we have the Star Wars actor Mark Hamill. They're so they support a lady who professes to execrate uh, the Caucasian race uh, group. Meant to say group. She professes to execrate the Caucasian group. But is in a relationship with a Caucasian man. So she is a true hypocrite. The 
Tetamia. E E B T S D E Tetami of Hypocrisy. She is the true epitome of hypocrisy. Facts. Big facts. Well, you got quite a few questions spoken up. First, we have uh, Star Wars actor Mark Hamill. They're so Kamala common, is do, married to a Caucasian man. A Caucasian man. A metocracy. It's crazy. Education completely. They're going to try and remake craziness. Um, we got quite a few questions to spoken up. First, we have the Star Wars actor Mark Hamill. They're so forthcoming with what they want to do. Get rid of the Department of Education completely. They're going to try and remake what we know as democracy into a metocracy. It's no education completely. Yeah, it's up. Okay, so that's what's happening right there. White dudes for Kamali, and that's fine. Now, we got quite a few white dudes who spoke up. First, we have the Star Wars actor Mark Hamill. They're so forthcoming with what they want to do. Get rid of the Department of Education completely. They're going to try and remake what we know as democracy into a metocracy. <laughs> it's no surprise that he idolizes Victor Orban and and uh, yeah, the that's that, that's that Joe Biden syndrome right there. You see your words, sir. You can look there get, get a little longer than two. The dictators of the world, but that's what he yearns to be. Again, <laughs> he said it out loud that he wants to be a dictator what? from day one. Uh, so yeah, they, they really believe that BJP was serious when he said that. When he yeah, they they really believe believe he was serious when he said that. Crazy bro. Crazy. He yeah, BJP was not Serious, bro. BJP was not serious when he stated when when he stated what he stated. So stop. Yeah, that's that Joe Biden right there. Please. Words, sir. Please. Get, get a little longer than two. The dictators of the world. That that's what he yearns to be. Again, he said it out loud that he wants to be a dictator from day one. Uh, so. Never is it more important for us to stand up to his mental illness yeah. and vote for Kamala in 2024. Now, let's go back a little bit here because there were a few things that he said. This deceitfulness of this bozo who is a proponent of Kamala's. Bro, bro, the, the, the deceitfulness, the deceitfulness is odious. The fear mongering is in, indubitably odious. It is indubitably odious. It is indubitably odious. Odious. It is indubitably odious. Vote for Kamala in 2024. Now let's go back a little bit here because there were a few things that he said. First of all, talking about me want to take away democracy or Trump wants to. How about Shaw basically appointing Kamala Harris as a Democratic Party? <laughs> what this? Uh, puppet who votes or who supports Kamala uh, what what this puppet who vote who supports Kamala is saying won't cause truly awake 
people to vote Kamala. What this true puppet who supports Kamala is saying won't cause truly awake people to vote Kamala. Kamala. How about y'all basically appointing Kamala Harris as a Democratic Party nominee when no votes went to her at all? The votes went to the Biden Harris campaign, not to yep. the Harris and whoever she selects mm. campaign. And went to Joe Biden to be the president. Yep. Nobody voted specifically for mm. Kamala Harris. Mm. They did not do that. Okay, and then the Department of Education. You get a lot of kids who graduate high school in this country who cannot read Facts. at all. It's crazy. Or they can barely. They're they're functionally illiterate. They, they, they can. They know certain things, but really they can't read. Crazy. And a lot of federal money is in this. And the Department of Education terrible, is in charge. Horrible, so at a certain point, they are still a large portion of our country. So why are they there? It appears to be a useless organization at this point. Now, here we go with Lance Bass and the. Yeah. The link to the full video of ABLs will be in the description. Yes. Salute, salute to ABL for, from the mainstream media. for saying what, what needed to be said. Sal salute to ABL for saying what needed to be said. Narrative from the narrative from the mainstream media is that Trump and JD Vance and quote unquote matter for Republicans are hold on, hold on. who care, truly care about their kids. 